some basic electrical object equations an ohm meter is connected across an inductor and a pointer indicates zero ohm the inductor is option is good open shorted or partly shorted the answer is shorted because ohm meter shows zero ohm that means there is a no any inductors that zero value means that is shorted uh, shorted second the winding resistance of a coil can be increased by the winding resistance can be increased option is using a thinner wire increase the number of turns or using thinner wire third increase the number of turns and changing the core material so we can increase the resistance by using the thinner wire as well as number of turns so here option 2 is having both the option increasing the number of turns or using thinner wire so it is the correct answer second one is third the formula for to find i when the value of r v and r are known to so i what is the value of i if we know the voltage and current the option is v is equal to i r i is equal to v by r i is equal to v by r and i is equal to v r so if we know the value of v and i and as we know ohm's law v is equal to i r v is equal to i r but we know the value of v and i that's why if we have to know the value of i so we have to know the value of i so that is the formula v by r so that's why it is the correct answer i is equal to v by r for when converting 0.16 milliampere to microampere the result is given 16 microampere 1600 microampere 0.00016 microampere and 160 microampere so answer is given 160 microampere so how 0.16 milliampere means 0.16 milliampere means 10 point 0.16 into 10 raised to power Minus three. Zero point one six into ten to the power minus three. So if we have to convert it into microampere, a microampere means ten to the power minus six. So we multiply by ten to the power six and ten to the power by minus six. So here. If we calculate this, so zero point one six zero point one six minus three and six ten raised to the power six is ten raised to the power three into ten raised to the power minus six And 0.16 into 10 raised to the power 3 that is equal to 160, and into 10 raised to the power minus 6, and 10 raised to the power minus 6 means micro. So 160. Micro ampere. That's why. If we have to convert the 0.16 milliampere to microampere, so 160 microampere is the right answer. Next, a 5 milliampere and a 4.3 milliampere and a 0.6 milliampere inductor are connected in parallel. The total inductance is. So whenever we calculate, if we have to calculate the inductance, if they are connected in parallel, then total inductance is always less than the Least inductance in the circuit. That's the answer is less than 0.6 milliampere. Always remember that if the inductance are connected in parallel, as is well equivalent to resistance. 
so when equivalent resistance is always less than the least value of the resistance connected in the circuit like that hmm, total inductance is always less than the least value of the inductance in that circuit that's why answer is less than 0.6 milli henry next we have 2 milli henry and 3.3 milli henry and 0.2 milli henry inductor are connected in series the total inductance is so total inductance will be sum of the total inductance are connected in series so 2 3.3 and 0.2 so if we sum if we sum the 2 plus 3.3 plus 0.2 Point two, the answer is five point five. That's why answer is five point five milli henry. Okay, next seven thousand volt can be expressed as seven thousand, seven thousand. So seven into ten raised to power three. Seven thousand means seven into ten raised to power three, and that is equivalent to kilo to so 7 kilo volt that's a it is the right answer 7000 volt can be expressed as 7 kilo volt next question is you are measuring the current in a circuit that is operated on an 18 volt battery the ammeter reads 40 million ampere later you notice the current has dropped 20 milli ampere how much the voltage change Okay, option is nine volt, eighteen volt, nine hundred milli volt, and zero volt. So, let us calculate. Okay, so if we consider um, find out the resistance of this when uh, the battery is eighteen volt and current shows ammeter shows forty uh, milli ampere. Then uh, resistance is R is equal to V by I, eighteen divided by forty. Eighteen divided by forty into ten raised to four minus three. That is equal to four fifty. Okay, four fifty. That is resistance. Now, when the um, current drop. To twenty milli ampere, then the voltage will be how much the voltage? So that will be find uh, V is equal to I R, I and R is four fifty, and I is four fifty multiply by twenty into ten raised to the minus three. Answer is nine nine volt. Answer is nine volt. Next current is measured in everybody is no. current unit of current is ampere unit of energy um, unit of power is watt unit of voltage uh, voltmeter is volt unit of inductor is henry and unit of current is ampere next question if we wish to increase the amount of current in a resistor from 120 milli ampere to 160 milli ampere by changing the 24 volt source what should be the new voltage so same Now we have to find the value of new voltage. So if we wish to increase the current from 120 to 160, so first of all, 120 and voltage is 24 volt. So resistance, how much resistance? 24 divided by 120 milli ampere. 120 into 10 raised to power minus 3. That is 200 is the resistance. Now, in the new case, current is 160 milli ampere, and resistance is 200. So that is 200 into 160 into 10 raised to minus 3. The answer is 32 volt. The new volt is 32 volt. 
इट इज द आंसर ओके तो होप यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर कवर्ड तो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन सब्सक्राइब इट शेयर इज एज मच एज पॉसिबल ओके थैंक यू Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to watch more videos. Like subscribe and share.